How you doing guys? Welcome to my first episode at the house besides the introduction of course. This radiator is from AutoSaver 88. Link is going to be in the description for the radiator. I'm going to replace it on my car. Mine has a small leak. You guys know that these ones are plastic on top. So this one is for a 1998 to 2002 Honda Core automatic transmission. I'm going to show you how to replace it, which is really easy. And this one has a cooler for the transmission, so we have to remove two hoses from the bottom, which is really simple. I'm going to show you in a minute how to replace the radiator on my Honda Core. Make sure that the car is cold so you don't splash all the antifreeze in your face. Let me jack up the car so I can get better access on the bottom because my car is really low. I jack up the car just a little bit. Right here, we have the drain plug right there where my finger is. Pretty much the same thing as the other one. So you can get this radiator from Amazon. You don't have the radiator cap, you have to replace that. But if yours is still new, you can use the one that you have currently on your car. Another thing that I recommend to do is replace the thermostat. If you're gonna do all this work while you're there, I recommend you to do it. I did that a few months ago, so I don't have to replace my thermostat, but I recommend you to do that. While you're there, another thing that you need to do, check your hoses. Make sure that they're good, they don't have any cracks, and when they start swelling up, they start getting big, that means the hoses are bad, we need to replace them. Mines are good. This for the lower hose, upper hose, and this right here and this one therefore the the transmission oil cooler you can you're gonna have to attach these two right here it's draining right now we're gonna wait a little bit this pen is clean so i'm gonna save this because i'm gonna reuse this antifreeze so have the steel water don't use regular water you have to use the steel water when you want to mix your antifreeze with water while that is draining on the bottom, I'm gonna remove this clamp. And it's a good option to replace your clamps once you remove them because the factory clamps, they don't have a lot of force. So it's gonna be good practice if you remove your clamps and put in new ones. In this case, I replace it because of that. I wanna make sure that you don't have any leaks because the pressure inside the system is really high. Also, you, you will have a bolt in here and on the other side, I change it to these washers. So I need an Allen key for those. In your case, I believe you're gonna have 10 millimeter. As you can see, this hose is not brand new, but it's almost new. But I replaced it because this hose was really big. It was swelling up, so it was time for me to replace it. Not a big deal. I replaced it a few years ago, so that one is still really good. Another thing that you need to remove is from the reservoir. Remove the hose. And this is a good time to remove your reservoir and clean it, because sometimes all the debris and all the stuff gets inside. Of the reservoir tank okay the next step is gonna be removing the clamps on the hoses that goes to the transmission and to the transmission fluid cooler so there is one in on this side I can use my little pliers and remove that clamp I'm just removing the clamps for now I don't want to remove them yet because if I remove them uh, transmission fluid is gonna go into my antifreeze and it's gonna be contaminated and I'm gonna have to uh, get a new one. That one is really good in good condition so I don't want to remove that. The other clamp is on the other side so I'm gonna go underneath and remove it on the other side. You see this connector right here you have to remove it from the clip push it right here on the back pull it out. Get this connector out of the way 
Next, this connector on the fan on your left. We have to disconnect that one. Okay, this one is disconnected because the wire harness is on our way. This one too, press on the top and pull it. Get all these wires out of the way. On this side right here, it has one of those clips. You just have to pull it. And then you don't have any connections on the radiator. Now I gotta go just to the bottom so I can remove the lower hose. This is the clamp that I have right now, so it's already loose. The stuck one is kind of difficult, but you need to find the right angle with the pliers. So this is ready to be out. When you remove that one, you wanna start dripping some antifreeze, so you gotta have your bucket ready. I'm gonna let that drain a little bit so we can move into the transmission cooler hoses. Now you can remove those two. They're holding the radiator in place. I like to put them like that so I know where they came from. It's just me. Is that line for the transmission oil cooler and that line right there. Right here, you have two 10 millimeter bolts holding the lines from the transmission. So you have to remove those two because they're attached to the radiator. So get those two out. That one and this one right here. The bracket is being removed from the bottom. So I have a better angle and more leverage if I pull the hose from top. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm pulling the hose from top because it's a lot easier. I got both hoses out. I'm gonna pull them up so I don't spill any transmission fluid. I'm gonna grab them here probably with the seat tight because they're already dripping. So those are my two hoses. Now radiator is free. I can just pull on the whole assembly. You're gonna need the very few things to do this swap. First, you need to cut this. This is the new radiator. Okay, 10 millimeters. You gotta remove those 10 millimeters. I'm gonna speed up the process. Missing one here. That's the other one. Okay. The bottom is is another ten. So this one is out. You just gotta transfer everything in here. Put it right there for now. This one is only two on top because these ones they go inside right here. Before we swap that, we're gonna cut. This so we can get them out of the way. Get the other radiator, swap it. Okay. Now these two, they're gonna I'm gonna replicate the way they facing. This one is facing that way. This one is same way right here. One right here, that one right there, this one, I don't know why I'm missing one, but I do. Because it's plastic, I don't like to go really use an impact or anything like that because it's plastic, I don't want to damage it so I like to do it by hand better okay so now we gotta time this up 
three quarters. You tie this up. But like I said, this material is very soft. So be careful. That's good. So that's all it is. Everything is being swapped. Now we have to put it back on the car and do all the connections. So these ones are from the other radiator. Don't forget those because if you forget those, the radiator is gonna vibrate a lot. So they're loose. So what you need to do is put them where it goes first. So put them right there on the slats. Okay. Now, be careful, I'm just going to use radiator. Okay, so that's in place. Next thing, just to hold it, I'll put this back on it. Get it tight. So that's that. Now we just got to go and put these hoses back on it. Which is gonna be really simple. We just gotta push them in. I'm doing it quick so I don't feel a lot of transmission fluid. You can grab your wire harness. This one goes connected in there. That one goes on the bottom, same spot. This one goes in here. And I'm gonna have to put the zip tie so I can put these ones back on it the way it was. Installation is done. Um, if you guys know, on that side, we had the bleeder valve to bleed the whole system. I'm gonna add now the steel water. I already put it back on the antifreeze. So the steel water is gonna go in. I'm gonna crack loose the bleeder valve and then bleed the system. Water is coming out from the bleeder valve. Now, I just gotta start the car, check for leaks. Installation is done on the radiator guys. Um, make sure that you check all your connections, uh, all your fittings, make sure everything is tight. Uh, bleed your system. And if you need a new cap, get a new cap. And most important, you have to put some transmission fluid because some of the transmission fluid is gonna stay on the old radiator. So top it off, check your level, make sure everything is good, go for a drive. So that's how you replace a radiator on a 1998 2002 Honda Core with an automatic transmission. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'm gonna be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Mm. <laughs>